Come on, Roach. Come on. Greetings, good man. Having trouble with your well? That's what I read. Aye. Tis haunted. So why do you put out a notice just now? Because earlier on we drew our water from the river. But so many corpses floating in it after the battle is turned noxious. My daughter Mandy drank half a pitcher. Felt dreadful ill. Can't keep nothing down. She grows worse by the day. Herbalist claims you fight a fever with drink. And not beer nor cider, but... Water. Clear, pure water. And where am I to get that if not from the well? But first, the ghost's got to be driven away. And it, don't let any man near. This ghost. Describe it for me. Well, it's awful frightening. Awful. I meant what does it look like? It looks like a woman, but fresh from the grave. Wears a dirty dress, all rags, its skin flaking off its bones, and it howls like it's suffering. Some wraith, or maybe an alp. If you don't wallop it, master, if you don't take care of it, that is, it'll come kill me daughter. Fine, I'll help. Where's this well? In Havel, a settlement on the heights. It's abandoned now. No one ventures there on account of the ghost being about. Drive it off. Please. That's it, Roach. Don't you look at me. Greetings. <clears throat> Good day to you. Good day.
infamous well. Strange, no sign of a ghost. Maybe it only shows at a certain time of day. Grass around the well scorched. Bodies dried to a crisp. Signs of burns. All signs point to a new wraith. Journal might be useful. it from here. Lucky not to come up empty-handed. A bracelet with an inscription. To Claire from Volker. Bracelet must have belonged to the woman in the well. tied the new wraith to this place. An object. Something she needs before she'll leave this world.
stabbed with a knife, died on the spot. Animals fed on his body, picked his skeleton clean. More blood stains over there, but it's not his blood. Palm prints in blood. Small hands. A woman's. Someone dragged her out. She was wounded. Fought for her life. No body in sight, but might still find some tracks. Under the right conditions, bloodstains can remain visible for decades. Another print by the well. Blood stains, almost faded, but the line's taut. Something's not right. A corpse, hanged by the bucket rope. Woman the journal belonged to, must be. Wide pelvis, small jaw, a woman. Around 30, judging by the teeth. Left arms missing. Need to cremate the remains. Gotta find the object that binds her to this place before I do, though. Was she wearing the bracelet from her husband? Might be why her arm fell off. Let's take another look. Lovely craftsmanship. But I'll have to burn it with the body to get rid of the Noon Wraith for good. Better do it near the well. Need to prepare for this fight. Brew some wraith oil, drink some potions.
she's gone. For good. Kings do the fighting. Take it easy. Job done. The well was haunted by the ghost of a woman who was killed there. I drove it away. I just hope every unburied wretch don't start haunting us. Well, that battlefield's gonna cause us a heap of trouble. If they do, you know who to contact. Meanwhile, Claire, Volker, names ring a bell? I don't know him. Though I did hear our herbalist Tamira mention a Claire once. Same one, maybe? Your reward, Master Witcher. The gold I'd hid away for Mandy's dowry. Without you, she'd never have lived to wed. Now, there's hope for it, at least. At this point, doubt I'll ever marry. You keep the coin from Mandy, her wedding. Raise a toast to my health then. Thank you, Master Witcher. Them's warm words, you've a good heart. But I can't let you go empty-handed. Take this, at least, for luck. Yes? Listen, ever heard of a woman named Claire? Lived around here? Heard of her? A mild way to put it. Claire was a friend. The only person dear to me in all of White Orchard. Until her husband, Volker, quarreled with the Lord of the Manor. 
He then gathered the family and moved out into the woods to start a new settlement. The Lord and his retinue rode there to convince them to return. They were to be civil. No forcing, no bloodshed, but you saw. Word is Claire said something about the Lord's son, Florian. Something that made the Lord furious. But who knows the truth? Lots of misfortune for such a small village. Tis so in every village. Even the smallest. You need only ask. But let's not end on a teary note. Here, a bit of solace. Yes? Griffin, do that to her. Delina. Yes. Attacked her at night. She was walking in the woods. At night? Through the woods? In wartime? Meeting a boy. The young, you know, do foolish things for love. Wounds are healing, but she will die. Blood's pooling in her skull. Nothing my bruise can do to help. could try to help her with one of my potions. Swallow can heal internal hemorrhages. But? Witcher's potions aren't for humans. She'll die as it is. Yes, a peaceful death soothed by your concoctions. If I give her Swallow and something goes wrong, the whole village will hear her screams. I understand. Do as you will. Tell me something about yourself. What's your story? A sad one. Do you know the Temple of Melitale in Alanda? Do I know it? Can't remember how many times I've been there, how many times Mother Nenica stitched me up. We must have missed each other. I started to become a healer under Mother Nenica. Hmm. I was but 18 when they took me in. An age at which teaching was interest one far less than love. There was a boy, Goslath. He'd bare his chest to work. The novices couldn't keep their eyes off him, tripped over their own feet, dropped things. I left the temple for him. We passed a lovely summer together, and then he left. Neneke refused to take me back. My parents uttered not a word, gave me a travel cloak and a small coin pouch. I struggled long to find a place where I'd feel safe, needed, until I finally arrived here. End of story. Got any herbs you're willing to sell? I'm sure I can find something. Farewell. Yes? Got a potion for Lena. Swallow. First sign of spring. Symbol of rebirth. Fitting as names go. We'll see. Like I said, could harm her. Deeply. Works on me immediately. But I have a faster metabolism. Effects won't appear in her case for a few days. Why'd you choose this in the end? Decided it was better than doing nothing. I like you, Witcher. Here. A small gift. For giving a damn.
Come on, Roach. Lost your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It's always sat there empty, this hut. That is, till the night afore the battle. A man arrived, walked right in like to his own. I was standing at the window, peering at the goings on. He must have been me. Cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan, for protection, see? But he just asks all polite. Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. Louis says he ain't listening. Just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. What's he doing, frying in the dark? But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Interesting. What happened then? Before dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come morn, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him. And me pan. We're old, black with sort, not worth much, I suppose. But I've no other. Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm a fear to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Methinks the other fellow. Well, that he's lying there. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. A corpse explains the stench of his throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. What's that, dearie? Nothing, nothing. Documents, almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. But when I gab to myself, they say I'm going barmy. Ah, the priceless frying pan. Scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. Found the pan, have ye? Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this sun if I wanted. But them years are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. 
Urgently burned some other documents, too. And... and the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nilf Guardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Here's for the road. Try up a nice white fish for Or a pike. That's it, Roach. that often? Talk to your dog? It's my brother's, Bastion's. But I guess he's mine now. See, Bastion fought the Black Ones in a battle just outside the village. Haven't had word of him since. I told him, do like I did, lose a finger or two so they won't recruit you. Too damn afeard he was. I'd walk the battlefield if I were you. I did. Sea of corpses. And corpses feeding. Someone told me they were feared of fire, so I took a torch, tried to chase them off. Poor shite, I tell you. Would have ended up eaten alive if it weren't for Hussar here. Listen, guessing you carry those swords for more than show. Come with me. Keep the ghouls off. Help me find Bastion and I'll pay you well. Fine, I'll help you. Just... Been a few days since the battle. Chances we find your brother alive are slim. Very slim. I would have thought, but I want to find his body at least. So Bastion don't rot there in the sun with the black ones. Meet me on the hill overlooking the battlefield. We'll move on together from there.
You're here, good. Bastion. His body must be here somewhere. Among countless others. Want to examine them one by one? Could take a while. You needn't fret. The recruits from White Orchard painted a small flower on their shields so as to be able to spot each other in battle. There was just a few of them. We look for the flowers, we'll find Bastion quick. No offense, but many of soldiers dropped his shield, especially if he was on the losing side. If we find the shield alone, Hassan will catch the scent and lead us to Bastion. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. Neighbor's son. Come on, Hassar. Can you smell Bastion, boy? Uh, still nothing. That him? No. Neighbor's son. Come on, Hassar. Can you smell Bastion, boy? Uh, still nothing. That him? No. Doesn't look anything like him. Come on, Hassar. Can you smell Bastion, boy? Uh, still nothing.
skin's burned off. Might be hard to tell, I know, but could this be him? Oh, yeah. Bastion was big, broad-shouldered. This one seems smaller, but maybe it's the fire did that. He found him! The SARS caught he sent! Come on! But there is more. My lieutenant demanded we defecate on command. Ballista bolts, landing all around, and all he could say was, A soldier with a full stomach will not step onto the battlefield. Now shit, that is an order. Can you believe it? The cretin. Stop! Oh, you're, oh, you're killing me. My, my ribs. Oh, it hurts to laugh. That needs a tourniquet. But first... Want to explain what's going on here? Bastion! Is he... Has this Nilfgaardian captured you? No. He saved my life. I, I got a cut to me side. And then got hit in the head. Couldn't see anything. Rosinia found me as... As he crawled across the battlefield. His legs twisted. And so we were. Blind man, leading a cripple. Found this place. I'm taking you home. We need to see to these wounds. I won't leave Rosinia. Although he'll die, and he can't go back to his home, he's deserted. They'll hang him. And what if they find him with us? They'll hang us all, my Laisha included. No, the Blacken stays here. Bastion only made it with the Black One's help. Maybe you ought to show him Nordlings aren't as barbarous as Nilfgaardians make us out to be. Well, I could give him our pa's clothes, teach him to work the field. But that accent... Fine, I'll take him in. Thank you, Witcher. Your reward. And the gods protect you. <laughs>